Is Jesse Smollett leaving Empire? Say it ain't so. Another Empire star marries. A new rhyme for ABC. ta Coates ditches his new residence. Azalea Banks mm, gets kicked off Twitter and more. But for now, let's get a quick take on what's popping. Welcome to What's the 4 in 1, your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cox. I'm Monika McLean. I'm Courtney Rashawn. And we have a man in the house. Joining <laughs> <laughs> us today on the <laughs> panel <laughs> the room is Sydney Wayman. AKA. Welcome, Sydney. Well, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Unfortunately, mm. I didn't have the chance to introduce myself, but it's okay. We speak for you. <laughs> yes. Right. I yes. see. Mm-hmm. And now let's get a quick take on what's popping. Okay, so BET is reporting that Keisha Cole found her father after 34 years. That's wow. a long time. So mm-hmm. she had this paternity test done. Mm-hmm. We're still trying to figure out how exactly that happened. But she had this paternity de- mm-hmm. test done, and she says that it was in the hands of God. And it turns out that celebrity boxing trainer Virgil Hunter hmm, okay, is her father. Wow. Damn, okay. Frankie. <laughs> Frankie <laughs> did it. Damn, what? So I thought, we always thought it was like a white guy. Remember, she yes. always thought it was because mm-hmm. she's so fair-skinned. Exactly. Yes, mm-hmm. and Frankie did mention that um, that she believed that Keisha's father was actually Caucasian, but he wasn't. Oh, so wow. So they was all just hitting it. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, oh, Virgil, oh, you are the, the ass. Virgil, you are the father. I think, I, I think really, though, we should be happy that she found a father. For a lot of people, it, it, it kind of creates closure. Yeah, like absolutely. Some people want to know, you know where they came from. Or it may cause some more drama. Depending on the type of person he is. <laughs> right. Well, I'm just saying. But she chose to have the paternity test. Journalist and author ta Coates doesn't plan to move into his $2.1 million brownstone after all. Really? Okay. Why would you move into your $2.1 million brownstone? That, but anyway, okay. Coates and his wife, according to the New York Times, use a limited liability corporation to shield their identities. So they were like incognito. But okay. the story leaked and was published in the New York Post. Coates wrote in the Atlantic, within a day of seeing articles, my wife and I knew that we could never live in Prospect Lefford Gardens, that we... What that we could do, we could never go back home if anything happened to either us, if anything happened to our son, we'd never forgive ourselves. That's so, so strange. Like, know who, so you yeah, like, like, you move in? celebrities live everywhere. Yeah, I'm like, oh, who's trying to kill him? Talking about well, I guess boy, he, please, I don't know. bye, just move in. Well, who, who is he? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, congratulations to Empire star Caitlin Doubleday, who recently tied the knot with fiance DJ Devin Lucian. In mm-hmm. California, the uh, double day posted on her her new sparkle on Instagram, so she was showing off the bling. Oh, blinging yeah. it out on the gram. Yes, okay, nice, girl. nice. Yes, yeah, she's cares? really beautiful. Yes. No, I really like her. She's beautiful. So what? Who cares if she got married? <laughs> what? The- what? Hater, 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 hater. You see all these fingers? Look, Joe, why, why you got a bling on in your finger? I'm married to the Lord. What the bling? Okay, okay, thank you. Oh, okay. Moving right along. Thank that's, you. That's a beautiful yes. thing. Yes. <laughs> and congratulations to acclaimed actress and five-time Tony Award winner, Audra McDonald. Okay. McDonald is pregnant with her second child at age 45. So it's not mm-hmm. just Janet mm-hmm. doing it. It's Audra McDonald. It's, it's everybody. That's great. Yeah, yeah. That is great. Good for her. Janet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you are a real hater. Well, hey, I just see you. because I'm a hater I doesn't mean they don't deserve rapper. number to you. Why are you, you so know? mad, son? Let me see if you have this next story. Let me see if you have this next story. Coming up next, does actor Jesse Smollett want to leave Empire? And Azalea Banks gets smacked down on social media by a 14-year-old. Wow. Stay tuned. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Welcome back to What's the 4 and one Now, controversial rapper Azalea Banks. You all know her? Yes. Uh, Izzy, right? Uh-huh. Or should we say Azalea Stanks? <laughs> As 14-year-old Disney star Sky Jackson called her after Azalea came for her head on Twitter. What? You guys have not heard about this? I mean, they just she just went in. You got to grow your... Get some hips. 
get your menses before you come at me, stay in a child's place, like all this stuff. Wow. And she said that as a result of Sky telling her, listen, you got to simmer down. You're out here yelling at Zayn Malik, you know, One Direction. Yes. Because she said, you know what? Um, you stole my style. You're copying my style in your video. And you're a sand N word. You, yes, she went there. She called them all types no, of racist she things. Didn't. Yes, she did. The F word that rhymes with maggot. She went in. She went in. So, Sky. On social media. On Twitter, she went in. Oh, wow. So, Sky was like, listen, I think Azalea Banks needs to simmer down a little. That's what she tweeted. Nice, sweet 14 year old Azalea came for her head. And Azalea, wow. <laughs> and Sky killed Azalea, basically. But the point is, after that whole bizarre rant, Twitter shut down her account. So my question to you all is, do you think that Twitter should have banned Azalea Banks? Why not? Absolutely. If she was talking reckless like that on She's Twitter and offending child. people mm -hmm. and using, you know, uh, profanity and things of that nature, then absolutely. I mean, uh, her being a celebrity, um, sometimes, you know, they feel that they can get a pass and just get away with it and say things. But listen, the same rules apply for everyone. You know, you know, the... Um, you know, the protocol with Twitter, and if you curse or show nudity and things like that, you know, offensive nudity, they will shut you down, you know? Right. So, I mean, and, and just, I mean, aside from that, just to go at a, at a 14 year old, 14 -year -old and you're old, like an adult was, woman, yeah. yeah, to really go at a 14 year old, that's mm -hmm. just bizarre to me. Yeah, I thought that was so weird. Like, like, she just came from her head, like, and so. Keep it moving. No, but she went in, like, yeah, your mom is pimping you out on a Disney channel. Check yeah. me when you get older, blah, blah. She just went in so hard <laughs> on this little girl. A bad day. And then. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. I, I still yeah, think might that, have been um, that time of the month. <laughs> I don't think it's the cursing as much, or you know, whatever that bothers me. I just think that, um, you know, <clears throat> social media people can become very uncivil. Yeah. And they hide behind the, the, the social computer. media platform. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I right. think um, what we need to do is step back and become a bit more civil, and recognize that. Um, we are still dealing with human beings. Yeah. And, and like, like you right. said, this Absolutely. is a young girl. You know, yeah. 14, 15 year old girl. Right. right? Well, they don't it's shut down Kanye or 50 Cent. They let them do whatever they want to do. I, I've never heard of 50 Cent's account mm -hmm. being shut down. But were they, he, were they making racist tweets? Were they making he just, he just he, he just uh, videoed this guy um, with autism and made fun of him and tweeted it out. Like, but then he gave $100,000 to the Autism Association. Speak, so. Autism Speak, Still, right. but I'm just talking Still, about I mean, Twitter's responsibility to kind of just shut down the nonsense, especially when it's repeat offenders, because 50 Cent is crazy. <laughs> yeah, he is crazy. I mean, he is. I mean, it just, you know, and then people came in and said, well, what about Donald Trump and all the stuff that he's done? Right. So, you know, right. I mean, so they're, they're going to shut them all down. Shut them all down. There's, there's a line. Empire star mm -hmm. Jussie Smollett. Mm -hmm. Do you know he's so cute? The one that yeah. came yes. out that he's supposed to be very talented. Actually, the Lee Daniels story. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's no, he's a, a talented actor, singer, songwriter. He yeah, is yeah. Like well, doing his thing. Stick to that and get off TV. No, mm -hmm. why you don't like him on TV? Um, well, I have never seen Empire. Okay, so are, you are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> what? what? You're you know, Jedi. Look, 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 like they said, you know, I might not know what pornography looks like, but I know when I see it or hear about it. Right. I know Empire is like something that probably doesn't deserve to be on television. Oh, right. not, only, not only should he leave the show, but Empire should leave there. Blasphemy. And what I Blasphemy. find. Blasphemy. Jesus, take the wheel. Wait yeah. a minute. What? Jesus, help these women who look at these shows. Okay, Empire on. is actually a pretty good show. Pretty good it's really Come scripted. Come on. All it does is scripted. Well, the music is well, great. Know, the show. So was, so was, uh, um, a lot of things are scripted, right? But have no redeeming value. Grey's Anatomy is a scripted show. It's very good. What do you think? No, about but what do you think, think about soap I operas? I don't, I don't think, think they've done anything different from from soap operas. Why? Do why, do you, soap why do you? Why does Empire do you, have do you, to get on the, the air? Well, I guess part of the problem is that you know I think there's so many stories about black folk that never get told. Mm -hmm. So I don't really, you know, I don't really think that a story like Empire that talks about you what's know, the story? What's the storyline? For what? Just empire. That's what that, that's what we're talking uh, about. You know, a music mogul grows up, you know, builds an empire with rap. You know. Uh huh. That happens all the time. It's like Puffy's story. That's the Jay Z's story. story. That's Jay -Z. I guess that happens. That's it, a black family yeah, story. Right, so should every story we do be about the crack addict? That, no, you, you can't. Know, no. Can, 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 can I make my point? You made your point. Can I make my point? Oh, so much. Shaq Nuka. Shaq Look, you know, the point I'm making is that there are too many stories that aren't told so that these stories that we all may know and may be real, but I don't think they are as real as they make it. 
scene, mm -hmm. um, there are too many other stories out there that should be told, and they never get told. Mm. You know well, what I mean? Why do you say they never get told? There's so much content. There's so much content now yeah. as it relates but, to right, black so, so and black this, experience. I just don't think this. that let anything has to be this. excluded. Let me right. ask you this. Well, any, well, what else is but, out there? Well, Excuse well, the ones who play. What else is out there? You said nothing, okay. seems, nothing, <laughs> nothing needs to be excluded, but what is included except this kind of crap? It's not true. Look at Scandal. Scandal, right? Black woman, you know, very professional, you know, very accomplished. And look at her. Look at Look at her life. Look at the underground. She banging. But look she, at the underground. She banging. Look the at the president. underground. Look at come on. underground. It's a it's a story, a scripted story about slavery and abolitionists mm. and and Let me and, ask you and hidden things is, is coming out. That movie about the NASA the no. NASA ladies. How many? That's coming out. I'm easy, sorry. easy. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Oh. But, but what is like you mentioned? <laughs> What she told me is a, a panel of women. I bought my boxing gloves. But anyway, no. <laughs> seriously though, when you when you look at it, when you look at it, you mentioned underground. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, how many people know about underground? Right? How many? What What is the audience view? You, what is the audience? I'm, view I'm about to answer your question. So let me tell you something. What happens? And audience, please chime in. Please tweet all about this. Yeah. Yes, but let me tell you yes. something. So many uh, viewers don't want to watch that stuff. They put it on, they put it out. It's uh, yeah, and it's, they, it they put the money cross, behind it. it and, and guess what we want to watch? Guess what we want to watch? Guess what we want to watch? That's no, we want to watch. Crap we want to watch Empire. reality TV. But we want to watch. Business. We want to escape so from our escape right. right. So, that's so what, in other words, because we, we know, because we know people want to escape, we'll give them escape. Right? That's that's. It's all right. Right. No, it's entertainment. Go, so they don't get it when you when you get when no, you get no, no, no. How, how many no. how many more you know um you know stories and shows are we going to see about black people being oppressed? How many more shows are we going to see? You know, we want to see some content with some positive. Let, black me ask people. You, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Do you have positive black people in your life? Absolutely. Do they have struggles that don't pertain to like trying to kick a drug habit or you know getting beat up by their boyfriend? Yeah, yeah. None of that. None of that. The content what, what, empire, what, 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 though. I didn't say what, but I'm saying, do you have we're people in your life? Yes, but no. we're talking about no, we're empire. Talking about, exactly. We're but we're talking about. You know what? This yeah. is yeah. Okay, yeah. this is what the story was. The story was <laughs> that <laughs> Justice just Smollett is trying to get more money in contracts. He's he's threatening to leave. They have him. He's getting shot on the actual show, yes, the season yes, finale. Yes. And actually, he is just kind of negotiating with Fox because he tweeted out. He's under contract. He tweeted out. He's under contract. He tweeted out. He's in the contract. Say one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> he that? tweeted out. You in the middle, girl. That he's had a like wonderful time and it's time to move on. So we have to watch that and see what happens now. Let him move. Let the whole show move. Oh, I mean, knowing what we know, gosh. does he deserve the same amount of money as, as, as Taraji and Terrence? Absolutely. Actually, absolutely not. I believe oh. so. He's a major character on He's the show. He's a major character, yes, but so, so many of them are. Like, come on. Like, Taraji and Terrence have paid their dues. Yeah, they're staples. Throughout. Mm. You are not okay. going to, I'm not going to walk in and say, I'm just as big as Denzel in this particular uh, film that we're doing. And I'm okay. saying, pay me what Denzel. No, no I don't agree with that. Absolutely not. <coughs> I don't agree okay. with that, but all he's contributed, I believe. Stop he it, Jess. Get, okay, this is just one show. Okay, it's fine. The average tax takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. At highway speeds, that's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. On this week's segment of Caribbean Cookup, we have some black girl magic on the set. Her name is Shola Roberts. She's a dynamic Caribbean-American teacher, educator, and dancer. And she's committed to using dance to inspire, touch, and change lives. Shola was recently chosen as the Barnes & Noble My Favorite Teacher of the Year and was featured on the front page of <laughs> Caribbean Life newspaper. Welcome, Shola. Hi, Kizzy. Thanks for having me. Of course, you 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 helped me to dance, oh. and so like now I had to bring you <laughs> on the remember. show. I do remember that class. <laughs> yeah, and I was like huffing and puffing, like, oh, I'm oh, tired. I can't do this. So yes, like I said, you helped me with Soka, but it's really interesting how Soka has really been having a moment now. Like it's getting so popular. What do you think it is that's making it popular now? I mean, it's just the individuals that are committed to putting the Caribbean on the map. You know, they're individuals who are passionate about the Caribbean. 
and then there are individuals that are passionate about the art of dance you know and when you're passionate about something you're just going to keep working towards um bringing recognition to that art form right mm -hmm. and i think also as carnival becomes more and more popular more and more people are exposed to it it's becoming definitely um and you know that goes to, goes without saying especially with artists like masha montano and bungee garland who are crossing over and you know just doing amazing things with the music um folks are wanting to know more about the culture and you have individuals wanting to tell our story so what better way than to let that happen right exactly and speaking of soca and the culture and caribbean mm -hmm. you're a principal dancer with dance caribbean collective so talk to us about what that is um dance caribbean collective was founded by candace thompson and she was just looking for an opportunity or a platform for contemporary Caribbean artists to share their work. Mm -hmm. um, this is my second year with the organization and I will be presenting um, a second body of choreographic work with um, Dance Caribbean Collective June 11th. So I'm okay. looking forward to just sharing my story, sharing my voice, dancing my Caribbean mm -hmm. with the public. Yes, I like that. I know you guys also go into schools and stuff and you do all that as well. Yeah, definitely. We, um, you know, one of our topics, one of our sh concerns is to do outreach within the community. Okay, right. Yeah? So um, what better way than to make connections with the children, with the teachers, and, you know, bring an awareness because I'm sure there are students who would love to learn more about their culture. So going into the schools and just trying to bridge the gap between what it is that goes on at home and what right. you learn at school um, can be an, an amazing experience. Yes. So, like I was saying, you have a lot of exciting things going on right <laughs> now. You were, you know, my favorite teacher award with Barnes & Noble. Talk about how that came about. Was that, like, a surprise to you? Um, it was. Um, I have a student named Ashley, and Ashley came up from Guyana um, this year. And, okay. you know, she was very shy and timid, and I started this dance ensemble program mm -hmm. at MSD 54 School of Integrated Learning located in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. And for some reason, Ashley wanted to join. Um, in addition, there was these flyers around school. And I said, Ashley, um, you know, just pushing students. And I pushed a number of them. And I was like, do you want to write this essay? And she was like, yeah, I would love to write the essay. You know, and that was actually the first time I actually seen her come out of her shell. Wow. You know, and just having giving her that opportunity we would have never thought in a million years that we would have been selected you know you just do things just out of wanting to see your students succeed right. wanting to see them push themselves wanting to see them go beyond what they think they're capable of right and this background magic happens. Yes, background <laughs> magic right here. It's so beautiful. So, I mean, you know, while we're on the topic of schools, I mean, people always talk about, you know, let's have the common core. Let's make students have higher grades in math and reading and so on and so forth. And we never really talk about the arts. As an arts teacher, how important is arts to your students? Well, I'm only coming from talking from experience. I remember going to school and my arts courses, my chorus class, my dance class, was what drove me to go to school. It's what right. gave me the incentive to wake up in the morning and go to school. It wasn't the ELA. I mean, you know, powers to the ELA teachers and the math <laughs> teachers, you know. Right. But I feel I felt like my chorus teacher and my dance teacher had an, a major impact on my life, which is oh, why wow. I decided to pursue dance to begin with as a career. Um, exactly. And so even being in a school where, you know, I feel like these core classes sometimes take precedence over the arts classes, I feel like it's the arts classes that teach these students skills that they may not be able to get in a ELA or in a math class. You know, these social skills, this idea of being confident and exactly. having self-esteem, you exactly. know? So I know what I'm here for. I'm going to stick to it. <laughs> Arts Teachers Unite. <laughs> yes, listen, I took dance. Like, I took dance all through, like, elementary school, mm -hmm. all through junior high school. I loved it. I loved it. Took acting classes. It was just such a, so important. It mm -hmm. was like, you know, I like the English. I loved mm -hmm. all that all, too. But Definitely. arts are so important, so. And we fail to realize doing. that with the arts, you can tie 
all of those aspects together. You can tie the literature, you can tie the science, you can tie the math, you can tie the history. You know, it's it's not disconnected. It's actually the the center or the nucleus that holds everything together. Ah, see, I like how you put mm-hmm. that science in there, girl. Okay. <laughs> but uh, you don't just teach in New York City, though. I mean, you teach uh-huh. you all over the world, and you actually went back to Grenada, yes, where you're originally from, and you taught there. What I was did. that experience like? Amazing. Wow. Um, it was humbling. Um, I was honored, you know, because when I was younger, one of my goals, you know, and you think about things, but when you see it actually coming to life, it's it's like okay. I'm speechless, right? right. <laughs> so right. just going back home, I had the opportunity to teach a number of courses for classes for a week for this diversity in dance workshop. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was the featured teacher for a week. Um, and I taught them traditional West African dance. And they were just so open and receptive to the wealth of knowledge that my teachers gave to me, you know? Mm-hmm. So I feel like in turn, it's only best for me to give it back to them, you know, and to push them and to know that, you know, there are artists on the island doing work and you can succeed and you this can be you. Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. That's really, you know, both sides, you know, the diaspora and Definitely. the Caribbean coming together. Coming it's, together. It's, it's an exchange. And yes, so speaking of that, St. Martin, talk to us quickly about St. Martin. You going to St. Martin? I, yes, I'm going to St. Martin this weekend. Um, real turn, real short and last minute. But I was asked by one of my dancing peers, someone that I danced with way back in the day, to teach um, a segment for her Arts Live Foundation audition. Um, Nicole DeWeaver, who is the president and founder of Arts Live Foundation, um, gave me the opportunity to, you know, teach the students soca dance, something that, you know, even in the Caribbean is being acknowledged, you know, right. because we're always trying to do the modern and the ballet, but we need to understand our roots as well, you know, exactly. and so to tie that in and to, you know, get them doing this amazing stuff will be amazing, and I'm looking forward to this opportunity, so thank you, Nicole. Black Girl Magic, okay, <laughs> where can they take your classes? Where can they take my classes? Well, um, in addition to being a dance teacher, a dance educator, I'm also a fitness professional. Mm -hmm. And I still work, I work at Crunch Gyms. I'm at Crunch Park Slope and Crunch 19th Street every Monday Mm -hmm. and Friday. And currently I am touring the nation with one of my peers from Howard University. Oh, You (laughs) (laughs) You guys are everywhere. Oh my gosh. Um, One of my Howard peers, um, um, promoting Antigua's carnival band Fuse. Um, it's a fusion between soca dance, which I teach, and Asa Fitness. Mm-hmm. So I'm yeah. teaching all, all over the country, um, in New York City. Just look me up and <laughs> it'll awesome. be a grand time. Thank you so much, Shola. This was so much fun. And I will be taking your class. Yes. Very, very soon. Yes. I'm going to crop over. Come on. I gotta get in shape. Come on. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Never. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Welcome back to What's the 411. It's time for our reality TV recap. Yes, sir. Courtney, what's up? <laughs> so, rumor has it that little Scrappy and Bambi got engaged. Okay. Yes. Uh, the couple has been on and off again forever, and they've went through their their, their trials and their tribulations, their breakups <laughs> and makeups. <laughs> but Waka Flocka's <laughs> wife, Tammy Rivera, who was also best friends with Bambi, posted a picture on her Instagram of what looks like um, an engagement ring on on Bambi's finger, and congratulated the couple by saying, "When you're ha- when you're super happy for your friends." Now, last night I was watching the show. And apparently, Bambi was in the club with another guy who she's dating while her and Scrappy are, are broken up. Wait, what? Oh, because this is... This yeah, is before. before. Right. Okay, okay. Now, apparently, Scrappy has been, not to be confused with Scrap De Leon, but Scrappy, little Scrappy, has been texting <laughs> and FaceTiming Jessica Dime. So Jessica Dime approached Bambi and said, hey, I see you're here with your new boo, but just to let you know, your, your ex-man is texting me. 
and Bambi just went ballistic, got bent out of shape, and Jessica was like, listen, I'm just, I'm just playing i'm just letting you know because you're obviously sitting here with another guy so i'm just telling you that now you're with another dude and scrappy's calling me so bambi just was irate and stormed out and you know it was just a big mess but the couple is together and for they now. are engaged for now. well they are engaged so you know is this? this is love and hip-hop atlanta so congratulations to bambi and scrappy <laughs> and also Mr. Rob Kardashian has made his return to Keeping Up with the Kardashians this uh, on Sunday. So now he's back on the cast. Chris Courtney and Kim, an interior designer, I believe it was Faye Resnick, welcome Rob into his new Calabasas home. And the family's excited that he'll be a father. Now, Rob, I don't know if you follow, but Rob Kardashian. <laughs> you know he don't follow. At all. <laughs> Rob Kardashian is engaged to Black China. Oh, I and he they, was engaged to Caitlyn Jenner. No, Caitlyn Jenner is his stepfather. Now, Black China. Well, not well the no. ex stepfather. Step <laughs> the ex or former? The former. Oh. The, well, it's her ex husband, but former father. Just so, whatever. Um, <laughs> so, Rob Kardashian is engaged to Black China, who is actually pregnant with his first child. Black China has a child with Tiger. Tiger, which who, is Kylie Jenner. So, so uh, well, it's Tiger. So, Tiger is the oh, father okay. of Black Tiger. China's child that they share together. Tyga is dating Rob Kardashian's little sister, sister Kylie. which is Kylie Jenner, which I heard recently that they, no, they broke, broke up. up. They, they broke, broke up. up. Yeah. So, so that's why he got caught. He got can, caught. I ask, can I ask a question? Well, they please. got broke up. But in, 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 in uh -huh. any, uh -huh. any, uh -huh. any way, what him, him, what we call him red. This the average tax takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. At highway speeds, that's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. Welcome back. Now we're bringing you some events that are in the pipeline. Courtney? Okay, so Arsenio Hall will return to network television this summer on his new ABC show, Greatest Hits, which will feature musical guests. They'll perform their songs from the 1980s, the 1990s, and into 2000s. The show will premiere on June 30th at 9 p.m. Coney Island Reggae on the Boardwalk will take place June 12th, July 10th, August 7th, and September 4th. And Shonda Rhimes, the beast that she is, Shonda. will produce her fifth television show for ABC entitled Still Star Crossed, which is a sequel to Romeo and Juliet. Oh, wow, that's going to be nice. nice. Right. <laughs> and the series will make its network debut in the fall. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to energy-saving bulbs. Saving energy saves you money. And we bid farewell to Susanna Mushat Jones, the Brooklyn resident who was the world's oldest person. She was 116 years old. May she rest in peace. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to energy-saving bulbs. Saving energy saves you money. Well, that will do it for this week's edition of What's the 4 on 1, your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. Until next week, check out our website, www.whatsthe411.com. And remember to hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, Periscope, Blab, and Twitter. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the 411 TV. Please check us out, and we just might mention you on the show, so do come to our, come to our social media pages. Yes. I'm Kizzy Cox, and on behalf of Anika McLean, Courtney Rashawn, and our guests. Cynthia Wayman. Controversy. Yes. Oh, yeah. Very controversial. <laughs> Thank you for watching What's the 411. We will see you next week. 411, who's got the 411? 411, they got the 411. Who's got the 411? We got the 411.